There's one guy down. He's been shot. He could be dead. Do you understand? Do you copy? Over. Yeah, copy. Wait for that backup. We're moving.
There were two federal officers there, Helen. Not a bloody drug squad, there were two federal officers. I mean, did we know they were there? No, we did not. And that's why this operation went belly up, and that's why one of my men is critically injured. Have we heard anything? Uh, Rourke's in theatre now. No, right, OK. We'll tell Donna to organise my car. I mean, what is happening here, Helen? I organised a super surveillance, and it turns out to be the gunfight at the OK Corral. OK, look, I'm sure Jack's got a... Yeah, well, Jack had better. He'd better have a bloody good explanation for all of this. I can try the detective's office. Sergeant Blakemore might be busy at the moment. It's important. Tell her it's Lynn Sackhart, Federal Police. Helen, we need to talk. Somewhere private? Somewhere private. OK. Did you get onto the towing company about Riley's car? Um, they said they'd call me back. Oh, well, you know what they're like. OK, in the meantime, organise the chief inspector's car to take him to the hospital. Uh, yeah, we can go upstairs. What? I trusted you. With what? What have I done wrong? <laughs> oh, come on, Helen. You expect me to believe this is all a coincidence. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to know you were working the same war? Because I as good as told you! You didn't! Honestly. Right. I was indiscreet. Stupid. Lesson learned. It won't happen no, again. No, don't go. Don't go. Lynn! Lynn! Dickhead. Something's going on, so what exactly? Okay, okay, just think about this, right? That fed cow, she leaves the scene. She drives straight here. She gets into a cosy little corner with Blakemore. Hey, and guess what? Surprise, surprise, they're on first name. Now, now, hang on, you're saying Helen knew about the fed's involvement hey, before we even walk in there. Come on, she would have said something to us, Jack, for sure. Yeah, I wish she had it. We wouldn't have been there. Oh, Jesus, poor rock. Well, there's no use regretting this now. Okay, we were happy enough to go in boots and all when we thought it was a drug squad operation. Yeah. Stick it to them, stick it to the feds. Yeah, yeah. Now, what difference does it make? Okay, look, there's no use raking over this now, right? IA's gonna need reports. Right? I shot the guy. The shooting team's gonna need reports, right? And Hawker, he's gonna want one all of his hands, so we start writing. Yep. Okay. Now, this, this was my gig. You know, I should have checked it out better. Oh, come on, hey, Al. No. Al. Alex. What I did on my holidays. What am I supposed to put down? That I almost had him? I mean, that if I'd have shot him, then Rock would be OK, right? Just put down what happened. He did nothing wrong. Neither of us did. Maybe I wasted a bullet. Or, uh, maybe you've had the Glock instead of the 38. You didn't. That's the way it goes. So hot, that's life, is it? And this is Rock we're talking about here, mate. He'll be fine. He's a tough nut. He'll manage to kick ass even with one leg in plaster. The guy on the forklift? He was a loony. Yeah. You can't second guess the loonies out there. How hard can it be? One car, one tow truck. I faxed the purchase order. That is the billing authority. Yes, I'll wait. Ah, uh, my diary. I need my diary. These are the guys who towed Riley's car. Do you want to talk to them? No, I, I don't. I don't want to talk to them. I want my diary, OK? Come on, just handle it, Donna. Car ready, Donna? Yes, sir. Got the keys there? Yeah, thanks, Donna. Spoke with Lance's wife. She's on her way in with their little boy. Um, um, Sam. When, when are they expecting me to surgery? Uh, they, uh, they had to amputate his leg. Okay. 
I'll, um, uh, I'll just need to warn him. No, he, um, sir, he died five minutes ago. He, uh, he tried to do the leg, but he died five minutes ago. His pelvis was crushed. What happened, Alex? No one's looking to place blame. I just need to know how to unravel. Okay, so this is this is our uh, formal chat then. Well, I'm just asking a question. It all started with you and your informant. Get on to me. Hey, listen, you called me, right? Now, now, I didn't ask you to spill your guts. That's the same fee, no deals. Mate, you are a waste of space. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Taylor Street Wharf, that container outfit there? Mm -hmm. The manager is a big bugger with black hair. He's running illegal substances in. Oh, illegal substances? What, you've been reading the dictionary? Oh, I'm talking big money here. He's pulling six figures on some deliveries. I shouldn't have listened to him. Look, he's been reliable till now. We all feel guilty about this. Even Riley was never enthusiastic about the whole operation. Why, why does Michael feel guilty? That's just... Because where, from where he was, he could see everything. He left his buddy radio on the car. It could have made the difference. Yeah. You know, Hawker thinks it's my fault. Hawker talked to you because it's your geek. He talked to me as well. Doesn't mean it's anyone's fault. You know, I really wanted to stick it to Drug Squad. It's a perfect opportunity, and... Right. Listen, you wouldn't be the first detective to set an operation bite him on the bum that's happened to me. Listen, we all went along with this, right? When you told us. All of us. Do you think it's drugs? Well, if we're talking that kind of money, what else? Well, if it's drugs, then you have to inform the Drug Squad. What, and let them chalk up another one? No way. Yeah, he's right. No, Jack, it is always this way. We do the work, they get the credits. Come on. Alex, if it's drugs, you're going to have to serve it up on a platter to them eventually. Might as well be a platter with our name engraved on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, right, Jack. You sit on that fence long enough, mate, you get splinters in your ass. We don't know it's drugs yet, right? No, 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 we're not 100%. But Tadpole, he reckons Drug Squad have not got a sniff of it. OK. Let's have a look at it. Chief will never buy it. This was by the book, Helen. My detectives come to me with information, I follow procedure, and I make a command decision. End of story. Yes, sir? Well, the drug squad told me there was no person of interest at the wharf. And this manager bloke that Christie shot. He is of no concern to the drug squad, nothing. All right, well, I'll ring and check. This informant, Tadpole, is he reliable? Yep, yep, always has been. Now, he, do, he reckons something's going down in the next three days. We just want to be there to eyeball it. All right, that's all you will do. Yeah. And only out if had a green light from the drug squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All necessary approvals, well. That's what I thought. Why would I call the feds? How did we not know they were there? We're usually pretty good at this sort of stuff, Helen. I know. Do you want me to get Sykes and Quinn? Yeah. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I'm... I want to see their reports first. Would you mind chasing them up? And get hold of Mix as well. Jeff, um, I'm sorry.
know it's probably not important right now, but I can't just leave it out there all night, can I? I mean, because then it'll get vandalised or something. I'll have twice as much paperwork. Donna! I'll call them myself. I'll tell them if they don't tow the car away, I'll cancel their contract. Is that what you'd like me to do? Something like that, yes. Then bring me up the paperwork. Such. Oh, great. I was just going to chase you for these, thanks. Right. No, it's not. Sign it, please. How you doing? Had better days. Okay. Let's go get pissed. Hey, that seems to be your solution for everything, doesn't it? Oi, oi, oi. Gavin doesn't look too good, hmm? Well, he takes it all himself, doesn't he? You know, what if I got another shot in? What if I've been better? What if I've been quicker? Usual stuff. Freaking fine. Speed dial doesn't work. Mate, get it fixed. You've been talking about it and talking about it. What are you two so smug about? Hawker approved surveillance on the container wharf. What? Who wants first shift? Well, you and me, eh? OK. Uh, actually, Jack and I should do it. We did the recce. Sure. Well, I just offered. I mean, you know, if spending time with me is a problem, fair enough. Hey, 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 I just mean we got it sussed. Hey, suit yourself. I'm not going anywhere, am I? Yeah, I handed him my gun. Yeah, yeah, look, first thing tomorrow will be fine, whenever you like. I shot him before he shot us, and they treat me like Billy the Kid. Yeah, this is shooting team. Ah, oh, shooting team, I uh, bring them all on. You can add internal reports to that list. Last call, Jeff wants them now. Did you know about the feds? You know better than to ask me that, Mick. Suck hard had a lot to say. I think you should mind your own business, Jack. Hey, Rock's dead. Everything's our business. Have you got that report, Michael? Yeah, it's very simple, Helen. My car broke down and I missed the whole thing. Piece of shit! It'll be towed as soon as I can get on Oh, same as it was nearly last week. That car's been playing up for ages, Donna. And I've been hassling you all week to get it serviced. I were booked out. I tried to book it. Well, you could have gone somewhere else. We're contracted. I can't just call it. Have you heard of the domino theory, Donna? You push one, and then another one falls, and then another, and another, and another. You didn't fix my car. My car breaks down. Then I've got to get out and run. And because I've got to get out and run, I'll leave my portable radio in the car. And because I leave my portable radio in the car, I can't warn my colleagues about eight tons of steel that's about to smash on them and turn them into pulp! Hey! Rock's the last domino. You figure it out. doing? What am I supposed to do about his car? About Rourke's car? Ah, uh, well, it'll have to be impounded until they sort out his estate. Oh, cars, cars! I hate cars! I just hate them! All right, all right, I'll make the call. But that's right? not the point, is it? I mean, little things go wrong and then bigger things happen. People get hurt. I mean, you think you're doing the nothing job, just sitting behind a desk doing admin, but everybody affects everyone else. And I screwed up in that. Your call has been placed in a queue and will be attended to by the first available operator. Anything from shooting team? Oh, yeah, I got my urine sample back, it's clean. Oh, good. You're not pregnant then? No, not this time. Jack, um, I just want to say thanks. You know, for pushing me out of the way. Right. I was looking after myself. You got in the way. We value your custom. Your call will be answered shortly. Mick, I need a word. I'm on the phone, Helen. We're gonna get this phone fixed. It's not often that I have to tell. 
tell you that you're acting like a prick, Michael. Oh, that's a great opener, Helen. That's great. If this has got to do with what I said yesterday about you knowing about the feds... Oh, it's got nothing to do with that. It's about Donna. What about Donna? You had no right to get up her about your bloody car. Look, she works a butt off down there trying to get the best out of contractors who don't give a toss half the time. Do you know how many requisitions she put in for your car last week? Three. Okay, so it didn't get fixed. You scream at the contractor. Exactly, Helen. It didn't get fixed. That's all I told her. Oh, you practically told her that she was responsible for Rourke's death. Well, maybe she should have a good think about oh, that. Oh, shut up, Michael. We all know that you left your radio in the car. Let it go. Hey, Jack. You ready for our chat with the feds? Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. What are you two doing? We're waiting on Hawker. And I, eh? This is a story I could really get sick of telling. Mm. Well, it's gonna be plenty more times, mate. Got the coroner's hearing as well. Yeah, counselling later, probably. Yeah, forget that. Mate, you're going fine with those bloody jokers. You end up coming out with head noises. I'm not going. You don't have a choice, Quinn. Who's next? Toss you for it. Heads? No, listen, I'll, I'll go first, day. Eh? Uh, Quinn and I were on our second day of surveillance, our second shift. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you right? Oh, no. Oh, it feels like a parrot pooed in my throat while I was asleep. So that parrot wouldn't be going by the name of Sam Booker now, would it? <laughs> a whole flock of them, mate. Oh. At 1100 hours, we observed the arrival of what appeared to be an unmarked police car here. Yeah, it's got doggies written all over it. Nah, it's more like drugs, going to be. Alex and Christy are not going to be happy campers about this. Why didn't you use the radio instead of the mobile songs? Oh, this was the detective's operation, sir. I mean, I knew that they were out and about. See, it wasn't a formal development. It was more of a... Uh, more of a complication, sir. Oh. So Christy and St. Clair show up. What the hell are you doing here? Who the hell are you guys? Having first called Riley, why do you think they'd do that? Well, I don't have an opinion on that, sir. Well, I would. A shell forced to argue the point with what they thought was the drug squad muscling in on their operation. This is our surveillance. We've been here two days. But we don't need drug squad stepping in and stuffing things up. Who says we're drug squad? So who the hell are you? Now, who are you guys? We're the water police. Well, it looks like dry land to me. Yeah, what's that over there? See the wet? OK, we'll take the perimeter. Well, at this point, we didn't know who the victim was. Sinclair's informant. What did you do? Well, I got Quinn to call in for some backup. I grabbed the portable and made a run for it. Portable 100 to base. Requesting backup shots have been fired. going to shoot the informant again, so I, I reached a position where I had a clear line of sight and some cover, and uh, then I challenged the offender, sir. It's just Sydney Water Police! Stop your weapons now! I returned fire to keep the offender honest, to keep track of him. Get any clear shots? Shit! Shit! I'm empty! I'm bloody empty! I had one clear shot on you, but I ran out of ammo. What well, was I about that? He said bad luck. Is he in his office? As far as I know, why? Something I need to do.
What kept you? I mean, out on the wharf. What took you so long, mate? Nothing. I ran over to you as fast as I could. Yeah. Okay. Now, Hawk is right, you know, it's just bad luck. I mean, if you had got there five seconds earlier, you would have taken him. Right? He was out in the clear for a good few seconds. I had a clear shot at him, I was out of ammo, so what's that? That's just bad luck. You know what? Rock died because of a toss of a coin, mate. training course you've been hassling me about? Yes. Well, there's room for one applicant next week. Excellent. And hey, what about me? For one person. She said one person. Okay, work it out. Work it out between you and let me know today. Yeah, right up. How to increase your firepower. Ditch 38, no more bullets. Yeah, hang on. Wait, 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 wait a sec, wait a sec. Uh, listen, I was actually thinking I might want to get away for a few days with Eva to Wilgandra. I'll do it. Yeah? Come on. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Um, no, look, I should do it. I'll do it. Don't worry about it. Toss you for it. Well, you are keen, aren't you? All right, toss you. Yep. Okay, here's the tails. Heads. I'm going. So Rock loses. <laughs> Rock died because of a toss of a coin, mate. The garage just rang. They said this afternoon for Rourke's car. It's good. You say jump, they jump. Donna, it wasn't your fault. Excuse me, Sergeant. Do you know where Chief Inspector Hawker is? Yeah, he's in with IA. And then he's going to meet with Glynis Rourke. Is there something I can help you with? Um, Rourke's locker. I want to clear it out, but uh, his senior officer needs to be present. I can do that. Okay. Let's go. One photo. So this is Mrs. Walk and Shannon. One child's drawing. Standard issue police jacket. Can you take that? Huh. One packet of jelly snakes. Open. <laughs> Wallet. I'll take the contents. Yep. Thanks. Okay. You want to come with me? if they're undamaged. Just attach that form and send it on. His overalls aren't here. Well, they don't get reissued. And what happens to them? You blame me, don't you? No, no. Why do you say that? Said the clock. If I got there sooner. You said you got there as soon as you could. Okay, I don't blame you.
was saying about yesterday. It's just angry. You don't have to apologise to me. No, yes, I do, Donna. I came down hard on you, and it wasn't even your fault. I was just angry at myself. You know, I left the portable radio in the car. Sometimes it's just a matter of seconds. You know, what ifs? I redid my report, Donna. I ask questions. And what if I'd got your car fixed? No, you tried your best. That's all any of us can do. Uh, yes, I really did try. I know you, Donna. Sorry. So am I. Oh, poor Rock. <laughs> No, sir, I want to add this to my report. I missed something right. out. Sir, I might have been able to get to psych sooner. Maybe just a few seconds. It yeah. might have made it... Sir, I wasn't just tired. I had a hangover. And... Well, you know what it's like. You already feel crook. Your adrenaline starts to pump. You run. What's your point? Well, if I just got there sooner, maybe... I don't know. Well, your drug and alcohol test is negative. Maybe it wasn't the hangover. Is this the first time you've been under fire? It wasn't because I was scared, sir. No shame in that. Maybe we're talking about the same thing. Adrenaline. Fear. I wasn't afraid. I had a hangover. I've amended my report. Sorry? I said, did they get stuck into you? All ah, right. Officer Sucker. Yeah, yeah, they did, actually. You too, I hope. Oh, I'll live. By the way, say thanks to Helen Blackmore for me. Hang on. Hey, what's Helen got to do with this? No, oh, yeah, right. Stick together. No, what has she got to do with it? Ask Helen. She likes to talk. What's all that about? I don't know. Look, I was just trying to organise some appointments for the counsellor. Uh, you got time maybe tonight? Yeah, yeah, should do. Um, Helen, can I ask you something? Certainly. In Suckart, the Fed, are you too close? Um, <clears throat> well, with all due respect, Alex, um, I don't think that concerns you. No, well, it does, because she accused us of sticking together. Like, said to tell you thanks, as in uh, thanks for nothing. What is going on? Exactly that. Nothing. Uh, I've got a time here for six o'clock. So that's why the feds were in there. Not drugs. Automatic weapons. No, no, guns. That's all right. Just how far down the track were our federal friends? OK, they knew about the manager at the container terminal. They were working the link upwards. They were trying to get to his supplier. Yeah, but what they didn't know was that uh, Tadpole, my informant, he was onto the manager too. Right, but he'd been working him for months. He wanted cash in return for silence. Yeah. He said Tadpole, he couldn't resist one last collect. That's what he thought he'd get yesterday, he thought. <sighs> what? He didn't know it was a weapons smuggling operation? No, he just assumed it was drugs and he gave it to me as fact. Right. Well, I wish I had known what was going down. We wouldn't have even been there. Exactly. What? Alex? Nothing. Alex, a good man is dead. I'm getting really sick of this. It's got nothing to do with anyone. My friendships are private and I've done nothing wrong. Helen, none of us lock the door on the job when we leave the office. Rook is dead. It is my job to see if it could have been prevented. So, so, what operation? Come on. 
guns. We've been on to a guy for weeks. Just about ready to move. Sorry. If it goes down the way we think it should, it um, could mean a promotion for me. Great. Not a new posting, I hope. You asking me not to leave town, officer? I can't believe that any of you would think that I would deliberately withhold information from you. A an information that could seriously compromise an operation in which you are all involved. I did not do that. Now, I went over and over it again in my head last night, and I know I didn't do it. And for the record, Alex, Lynn Sucker and I are good friends, sorry, were. She never mentioned a location, and she only talked about guns, not drugs, which is what I thought we were onto. I didn't make the connection, so I had nothing to tell you. Helen, no, Alice. I told you she wouldn't yeah, object. All right, Mick, just don't rub it in. All right. You know, maybe none of us should have friends. One minute's fine, next minute you're in a relationship and you've got to be on your guard. You know, it, it's just not worth it. Yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you. Do you want to make a time for the counsellor? No, I don't think so, Helen. I may be lonely at the top, but I do have the luxury of distance. What are you talking about? See this? Clark Webb gave me this four years ago when I took over this job. It's a buck. And it stops here. I'll put you down for seven then, will I? Okay. Chief Inspector Hawker. waiting list, but I want you to put me on it as soon as possible. Yeah, right, I'll